you know god our father he designed at the beginning of this world akiumba hii dunia even before you were formed in your mother's womb he designed that you'll be here today he created this day in such a way that he provided everything for you that you'll be able to breathe fresh air that rose will be seated next to Walter you'll be seated next to he designed it that way and that is how much he values you wewe peke yako he thought about you alone mimi leo as a father i want to do this to rose my daughter this is what i want to do for her she'll be dressed in a denim short sleeved jacket she'll be I, and he designed it beautifully just for you today i want us to talk about him so to the heading of our subject today is my father and it's my prayer that as we go through this subject by the end of it that we will have a different understanding of our father our heavenly father amen i uh, check your books and pens fasten your safety belts <laughs> and let's take off i want us to define the term father the term father is defined as the source or originator of source or originator of please allow me to do this i have just realized i have not said my name my name is fred moindi mololo majina watatu kama royco mchuzi mix fred moindi mololo nimeokoka and i love the lord as my personal savior i am married to the most beautiful lady you are going to encounter today in this service amen <laughs> with the most beautiful hair i don't know where she has gone i think she has gone to attend to and we are blessed with two children one of which is the one that has just been is been attended to i've been here in this church for 16 years now 16 years i came here as an 18 year old amen and joshua followed shortly after Joshua was 17 years old. So now I am 18 years old with 16 years of experience. While Joshua is 17 years old with 16 years of experience. And you can grow in this church. I came here as an 18 year old. I couldn't stand before people. Man, God is good. As in God and as I could take from where you can't imagine to where you can't even imagine. God is very faithful. source or originator of another definition of a, of a father is this it is one who has infused his own spirit one who has infused is his meaning kwetu ni machakos so ukisikia zile hazina h wewe weka tu h ukisikia zile kona h na iko suppose kuna h to a h one who has infused his own spirit into others one who actuates and one who governs their minds one who has infused his own spirit into others one who actuates and governs their minds Uh, some time ago i was joking with uh, nilikuwa naambia pastor songwa if if my son sifa left atoke tu hapa nje na mtu aende amchukue na arudishwe hapa na uje na huyo mtu aambiwe hebu pea huyo kijana baba yake there is a 98% probability that atanileta tu because he looks like me Okay because biologically 
I am his originator. And I have infused into him even how I look. Amen. Amen. Nataka tuelewe. I want us to lay a foundation of what we are talking about today. As a father, I have infused certain things into my children. And I infuse it every day. And unfortunately, or fortunately, as fathers, we infuse good and bad things. That's why. Utasikia siku moja katoto hapa nje kameongea kitu, uone mzazi amekafunika mdomo. Not because that kid taught himself, but because that has been infused into him. What you do, parents, in front of children, what you do, you infuse it into your children because you play the role of a father. He's the one who does what? Infuses his own spirit into others. So let me ask you something. Is God our father? I don't want you to answer. I want you to have that question. Is God our father? And I want to answer you that question using scriptures. So that today, if you go out and you meet someone who doesn't understand that they have a father, that you can explain to them using this word, that God is their father. Amen? Is God our father? 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14. 2 Corinthians 6. Eh, 2 Corinthians kwa hii Bible yangu iko page 816. So wale mko na Bible kama yangu page 816. Hapo ndo tutasaidiana. Verse 14. And I'll read it. Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what do fellowship or what fellowship can light have with darkness? What harmony is there between Christ and Belial? What does a believer have in common with an unbeliever? What agreement is there between the temple of God and idols? For we are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will live with them and walk among them. I will be their God and they will be my people. Therefore, come out of them and be separate, says the Lord. Touch no unclean thing and I will receive you. I will be a father to you and you will be my sons and daughters, says El Shaddai, the Lord God Almighty. I will be a father to you. Him himself, that I will be a father to you. Another scripture, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 6. No, no, no. Ephesians chapter 4, from verse 1. chapter 4 verse 1 as a prisoner for the Lord then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received be completely humble and gentle be patient bearing with one another in love make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace there is one body and one spirit just as you just as you are called to one hope when you are called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God. And what? And Father of all. There's only one God and one Father of all who is over all, 
and through all and that father is in higher another scripture psalms 68 psalms 68 from verse 4 Sing to the Lord, sing praise to his name. Extol him who rides on the clouds. His name is the Lord and rejoice before him. I want I want you to listen to this. A father to the fatherless. A defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. There are very many scriptures innumerable scriptures yani verses awezi zi number nakumbuka ile song tulikuwa tunaimba count your blessings one by one and you'll be surprised there are so many verses so many scriptures that show us that our god El Shaddai is our father and that he dwells in us remember what we said about our father he infuses his spirit into us he is a father to the fatherless he is our father a father of all amen so now is god your father after these scriptures to mesoma can you comfortably say that god is my father amen Another important question. I want I'm laying a basis for what I want us to discuss today. Fine. Mungu amesema yeye ni baba ya kila mtu. Na amesema yeye ni baba ambaye anaishi ndani ya kila mtu. But another important question is this. Maybe you're asking yourself, are we the sons? Am I mimi? Mimi ni mtoto wa Mungu kweli. Unajua fine. Wewe Mungu umesema yeye ni baba yangu. Sawa. But am I am I a child of God? Mimi ni mtoto wa Mungu. Romans chapter 8. I want you to write down these verses so that there's nothing as important as knowing who you are. <laughs> There's a quote that says there are two most important days in your life. The day you were born and the day you find out why. The day you understand mimi mimi ni nani? Why 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 mimi kama Rogers niko hii dunia kwa nini? That is a very important fact that I pray that in this lifetime you'll be able to discover Romans chapter 8 verse 16 no verse 12 Therefore brothers we have an obligation but it is not to the sinful nature to live according to it let me just say something before we go to the next verse as as we speak these things i want you to to connect them with the very first description to lipeana yeah who our father is i mean if for example i i i play drums here in this church my son wo kijana hata jana tukikuwa kwa gari tulikuwa tumetoka ushago jana usiku tukikuja sasa hizo tuko Mombasa road tumejua magari magari nini jam jamaa iko hapa nyuma ya viti nasikia tu drumsticks unaona unaona kiti hii headrest anachapa tu hapo tu because that has been infused in him you see you a son and when i mean a son i also mean daughters cannot behave differently so much from the father and therefore we have an obligation but it is not to the sinful nature because of course our father in heaven cannot infuse into us a sinful nature to live according to it next for if we live according to the sinful nature 
you will die. But if you live by the Spirit, you put to death the misdeeds of the body. You will live. Because those who are led by the Spirit of God are what? Are what? Hey, let's go this idea level one. Those who are led by the Spirit of God are? For you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave again to fear. Remember, God has infused, as a father, he has infused a spirit into you. He did not infuse into you a spirit that makes you a slave again to fear. But you received a spirit of sonship. I want us to understand that today. I want you to understand what you received. How am I a son? To my God. He, you received a spirit of sonship. And by him, by that spirit, we cry, Abba Father. Abba Father. Abba means beloved. Means dear. It means daddy. You know, when you do daddy, you know it is there, there, there are two people in this world that refer to me as a father. I mean, nimewambia mimi niko na watoto. Lakini hakuna siku watu nimekaa hapa alafu uone uone karo. Amekuja hapa anze kunita, "Daddy." Si si hata kandi sata amecheka. Unajua? Because there 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 are those that call me father. And the fact that they call me father makes it special. It makes it different from everybody else. I want you to understand that. Yule mtu ambaye unamuitanga baba yako si watu wote wanamuitanga baba yako. Because there is a special thing between you and him or her. That person who is a father to you there's something special. That's why everybody else doesn't call them father. Imagine. Then what does it mean between us and our father? There must be something special. That's why you call him Abba Father. Dear Daddy, Daddy God. Beloved Father. Next verse. The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that what? That we are God's children. Other other versions say that that he the spirit bears witness. Bears witness in a, so remember God has infused his spirit into you that bears witness. You know what it means? That it that the spirit of God constantly reminds you constantly reminds you that you are the child of God. But how many times would you listen to anyway, how many times do we really, really feel like the children of God? And I've said feel because we are. Because feelings, emotions, circumstances, sometimes they make us think or feel as though we are not. But it is my prayer that the spirit that has been infused into us will constantly remind you. Kandi sukiwa pale job, ukipitia hi, unakumbuka, I am not fatherless. Amen? Uh, Galatians chapter 3, from verse 26. Galatians chapter 3 from verse 26. You are all sons of God. Amen. I mean, if Nikki said, I expected an amen. You are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. 27. For all of you who are baptized in Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free. Remember, 
Okay, let's proceed. Male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Amen. Proceed to chapter 4, verse 1. What I am saying is this. <laughs> I like the way the, the, uh, the Bible says my evil. That as long as the heir is a child, he is no longer different from a slave, although he owns the whole estate. Proceed. He is subject to guardians and trustees until the time set by his father. See also, when we were children, we were in slavery under the basic principles of the world. But when the time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under law, to redeem those under the law that we might receive the full rights of sons. Because you are sons of God, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts the spirit who does what? The spirit who calls out what? Abba, Father. Amen. Now, let me ask the question again. Are we sons and are we children of God? Yes, we are. Do we really understand? Or are we conscious of this relationship? That's what we Mungu ni baba yangu mimi ni mtoto wake but are we conscious you see let me let me tell you hata niwapetie uh, example there are very many things that you know are happening like for example right now the world is plagued with a pandemic that is known as corona sindio but see tumeambua to buy masks Sindio? Ushe, ushe itoka siku moja kwa nyumba. Umetembea. E, toka umeenda. Hindi huyo sijui. Nimetuma mayai. Unaendo unajipata kwa zile shop za container. Ra. Zina mask. Now, all this time, you are aware there is corona. But you are not conscious of the fact. Like, haikuwa imeingia ndani yako kabisa ufkiri enyewe. Ikitu. Eco, and therefore I need to wear a mask. There are very many of us that know God is our Father. There are very many of us who know that we are children of God. But, and it's my prayer that that changes today. There are many of us who are not conscious of that relationship. Kuna watu wengi, wengi wetu sana in the church, not even outside, in the church. Ambao hatuelewi usiano wetu na baba yetu kama baba yetu. As a father. Nimewambia sayi kijanangu wakakuja haba ataniita baba. Nyinyi munajua mini baba. Lakini ya muniti baba. But he may be a, as he call me father. And he will be okay with it. Because he understands. Anaelewa. Husiano wetu kama baba na mtoto. Matthew 6 verse 9. Matthew 6 verse 9. May God help us understand him as our father. Disciples tell Jesus, please teach us how to pray. And then he starts, our Father in heaven. Jesus Christ tries to show us. Yani imagine, ile structure tulipewa ya maombi. You know, this is the prayer that we refer to. To show like a reference of other prayers. When Jesus Christ was asked, show us how to pray, he began with our Father. Because the way 
way we approach someone that is what makes the difference unaona venye na venye kijana wangu akikuja hapa the way he will ap- approach me is different from the way somebody who is not my son will approach me and you see jesus began by showing us that god wants to identify himself to us first as a father our father who art in heaven jesus who love began this prayer el shaddai the lord god most high you who is from beginning to end alpha and omega he that is not wrong but he began it with the most simplest word that can pass all of us in either to beat up our father because god wants to identify himself to us mungu anataka umjue wewe yeye kwa maisha yako kama baba yako and what does it show you know uh when you look at the life of christ Christ came to this world akakuja akasulubiwa he was crucified and he died and from that we were reconciled to the father but i also i also feel deep down in my spirit that one of the things that Christ did when he came to this world was to change the perception that we have of god to change the perception that we have of god because most of us sasa nikauliza hapa wengi wenu nikawapatia kitabu niwaambie draw for me your father ah nichore mungu niseme draw for me nipe hapa walter kina candies kina rose kina nani oh oh kina tabii huko watu wamemaliza form 4 niwaambie niaje shika hii plain paper crayons wala wanapenda watercolors tuweni ni jore mungu you will not what you will not get it wrong but i'm telling you the perception that we have of god utaona majamaa wamechora wameka ma light wameka jamaa na kaa shujaa yani jamaa na kaa kiongevi you know what the the bible says that the blast of his nostrils separates waters yani you know my chest in power glue yani jesus said our father when in matthew chapter 14 when jesus uh, when there was the crowd came to him and akauliza uh, ah watu tunawapatia nini and the disciples said hapa kuna shujaa kona samaki mbili na mkate five loaves of bread and two fish and then jesus took do you know what the bible says he took and gave thanks and gave the disciples to distribute it shows the simplicity or the approach that jesus himself yes mwenyewe alituonesha how to approach the father because sometimes we imagine that lazima ukuje ukonge pulpit uangushe hizi ukuta ufanye nini ndio ukuable to access baba yako Jesus Christ showed us the simplicity with which you can approach your father because he is your father my son doesn't need to come here and dance and angushe hizi speaker na inuanishe hizi vitu apande juu hii screen ndio nijue yenye kijana wangu hapo area no he just needs to come here and say Daddy, ni sadia na sadaka ya Sunday school. Shu shu, shika. I I I pray that we understand. Page 2. <laughs> so how do you see the father? Do you see him as a father? Ama unamuona kama hiyo picha ningekupatia uchore. How do you see the father? And you know unfortunately the picture that we have of our father sometimes is also distorted by the fathers that we have had on this earth. 
kama baba yako alikuwa there's a friend of mine babake alikuwa soja jamaa wa jeshi KDF wakifanya mistake unaona ile siku ati like sisi when we were growing up we used to have belt kuna belt ilikuwa ya father ya brown manzi hiyo belt haiku inakatika lakini hiyo belt ulikuwa tunaundwa nayo ukisikia tu madhe amekwambia ende unilete mshipi ya father hiyo belt thank you to my brother ali katakata to go to high school miss it just disappeared and uh, yes now i had a friend of mine whose father was in the army him ukifanya mistake unaje kuna zile makosa mama na deal na wewe lakini kuna zile makosa unaambiwa mngoja babako akuje baba yake what he used to do he used to lock himself mna jilokia kwa room as in anakuambia kuja mnaingia kwa room na ina eh <laughs> vita anakuchapa anakuchapa mangumi na like hakuna di mabelt nini vita anakushika wao mpaka mamake akiwa nje unasikia akikutetea utauwa mtoto bwana now some of us because of the fathers that we have have a certain image when i say father when i tell you that god is your father that image of your father distorts what your father in heaven is and it is my prayer that the holy spirit who bears witness in you will show you how perfect of a father we have he is not like the earthly fathers the bible says he is not like the earthly fathers he, he himself says that he is not like the earthly fathers and i pray that you understand what kind of a father that you have our father now you know the walk of life hi maisha inaweza fanya that we do not really as i have explained to you the presence of fathers the presence of earthly fathers the presence of circumstances can really make you uh, forget that you have a father Remember when I told you that are we conscious of the fact that we have a father who never leaves Year 2021 eh hii mwaka to me this year began with a lot of promise it began with a lot of promise I remember tukikuwa hapa cuz we couldn't have a kesha but we had unakumbuka charity prayers za zile 21 days of this year began with a lot for me this is my story it began with a lot of promise i mean we will come here for prayers i remember your time ya uh, 21 days of fasting we were praying and it was it was beautiful this year i mean and the promises of god and every it was just a year that ile mwaka our theme is to love god you know a beautiful year awesome year Eh hey, March corona spike kapanda few churches zikafungwa it is the same year that began with a lot of promise and for me on the 6th of April my father who gave birth to me fell ill akagonjeka this year the year that began with a lot of promise a lot of e hey, mungu ameniambia that i am keen to follow You know that is what the word God God says that he is keen to follow to his word to you feel it okay that same God within to this year after his promises so this is going to happen this is year that you are going to love your God love your neighbors and you know you know a lot of so on the 6th of April my dad akagonjek on the 24th of April 18 days later my dad went to heaven in the year this year that there was so much promise my own father yule aliniza he went to heaven this year and uh, it was one of my most difficult moments because i mean you don't have two fathers so you can't say that i have experienced this before i know most of you some of you might have maybe you've lost a friend you've lost a parent you've lost a brother you've lost a sister i mean it's 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 a difficult moment it's 
it's it's a it's a dark moment. It's 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 a very hard moment. And for me it was. I remember even Walter, was it last year when you lost your mom? It's it's a tough moment. So in this year for me, that year that began with a lot of promise is the same year I lost my dad. And for three weeks, I I, I will go to the presence of God. I will I will try to pray. And I'm telling you, know, I like I like saying the truth. Because sometimes I think as Christians, we like to sugarcoat things. And we are not realistic. I will go to the presence of God and you go and you don't know what to say. Because not that I was mad, I will not say that, but because you really just don't know now where do you begin. And then one day, one day, we were seated in the house, uh, just the family. And we were talking about now everything that had happened. That is in, in May. I think towards the end of May, beginning of June. And uh, I remember my, my, my smaller brother, okay, smaller in age, uh, joking. Aki, aki joke, aki sema, eh, sayu unajua father, ana hangout na akina King David, na akina Elijah. Uh, yani, you know, okay, we were talking things that, you know, could encourage us. And okay, it really helps. For me, it helped because I'll show you why. And uh, I have my, my elder sister, Yulena Mfuata, is, uh, is very quiet. But you won't get words once. Ushia una watu wanaongea anga once once. Alafu wanaongea point. Alafu muna shanga. Kona haku sema hii point tukianza hii story. Hii story. So she was there and she was quiet. And then she said, Imagine, you know, God says that he's father to the fatherless. Right? That is what his word has told us. So Mimi, even if for anything else, my father in heaven is my father because I'm fatherless. Because only a father gives good and perfect gifts. Amen? If you go for a birthday party today, <laughs> if you go for a birthday party today, you're invited. When you go to a birthday party, you're invited to Rembo Karojas. I'm a kakijana. Who would have like gifts? But the gift, will be perfect and good. One, because there is already a relationship that we've already spoken about. These are people who know each other beyond, beyond what the rest of the people who know each other beyond, beyond what the rest of you do. So every good and perfect gift comes from who? down from the Father of heavenly lights, who does not change? Ha. Who does not do what? My Father. So let me go back to my story. The year that seemed to have, the year that seemed to have become dark, the year that seemed to have, what is more of 2021 to live for than this word? Then this word came. My father, the one that promised me in January that, that he will give me every good and perfect gift, even in the midst of the loss of my biological father, he doesn't change. He does not change. Unlike us earthly fathers, him, he doesn't change. So the promises, the Bible says that he, his promises are what? Yes and amen. It is done. That will not change. Circumstances, let me tell you guys, things will happen in your life. Things that you wonder. But you see, remember, do not lose. mask kwa nyumba. Do not lose. reference to our story. Do not lose. Do not lose that knowledge and consciousness that that father, your father, Abba Father, doesn't change. 
because that is what the devil wants to think. That because you've lost a father, because you've lost a job, because you've done this, because you are going through this, then all that the father had promised you is now gone. That is what, that is what the devil wants you to think. But the word of God says, uh, tells us what? That this father who gives us every good and perfect gift <laughs> does not change. He doesn't change. That is his quality. He doesn't change. He's a provider of every good and perfect gift. And he doesn't change. And therefore, you know what that happens. When you have that understanding that even in the midst of this, even in the midst of this trial, even in the midst of this test, on Wednesday we were learning about tests. <laughs> he does not change. So your approach to him will also not change. Your approach to him will not what? Because if you know that I have not changed, then why should you approach me differently? You will know and you will have the confidence to go before him and tell him, Daddy, this and this is going through. This is and this is going on. But I know that you are the provider and you remain to be and you will have never changed and you will never change. And you're not, you're not a man that you can lie. I know, Lord, that you are the provider of every good and perfect gift. And therefore, even Father, in this season, in this season, I thank you because you are the provider of every good and perfect gift in my life. When your prayer starts with the understanding that whoever that you are addressing is not only the creator of the universe, but his name as far as your relationship is concerned is Abba Father then everything else changes. Even our prayer changes. Even our prayer does what? Because if today Walter wanted after the service ni mnunulie mayai pale nje. Na sifa. Sifa na yeye pia anataka baba yake amnunulie nini? Mayai pale nje. Pale kwa ile duka ya 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 kina rose. Eh? The way they would approach me is very different because they both have a different revelation of who I am. It will be very different. Walter atakuja. Ni aje? Manzi. Hata leo kama yai ni aje. Unajua na tuko wana pitu. But Sifa will just come. Daddy, nata kama yai. Na haogopi. Na haski kama kuna doubt. I wish we can really understand who our Father is. I wish we can really see the, that Almighty God as our Father. Really as our Father. The moment I have told you, the moment you understand that relationship with you and your Father, everything else will change. He's a provider. He doesn't change. He is the source of life. <laughs> Imagine that father. Remember we started by saying that a father is the originator of everything. <laughs> now our father is the source. In fact, is the source of our being. Where we were, you being there. You being there. The fact that there is a lady on this earth that exists that is called Candice is because there is a father in heaven. Yani the fact that we uko ni yeye. The Bible says, if it were not for him, the enemy will have swallowed us alive. The fact that you are here, charity, the fact that uko ni kwa sababu ya baba yako. Let me read to you a scripture. Romans 11.36 We we ni chanzo cha bhai wangu na kwa budu na kwa budu oh we we ni chanzo cha bhai wangu na kwa budu 
You know, when you understand who he is, even your worship will change. Because we sang that song today. If your revelation of who he is, may God help us. Because he is the source of our being. Romans 11, 36. For from him and through him and to him are all things. For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. He is the source of our being. Isaiah 46, chapter 3. Ah, Isaiah 46, verse 3. Listen to me, O house of Jacob, all you who remain of the house of Israel, you whom I have upheld since you were conceived and have carried since your birth. Even to your old age and gray hairs, I am he. I am he. He who will sustain you. I have made you and I will carry you and I will sustain you and I will rescue you. 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6. 1 Corinthians 8, 6. Yet for us there is one but there is but one God, the Father. Oh my God, <laughs> the Father, from whom all things came, and for whom we live. And there is one, there is but one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all things came. And through whom we live. Just verse 6. From whom all things do what? All things came. <laughs> so where did you come from? Do you list the two leo? And there is the answer. You know where you came from. Yeah, yeah. Gyo chanzo chauhai wako. Where were two binyauko? He is the beginning. Yeah, yeah. He is the source of your being. He is our source of life and everything. He is our sustainer. Psalms 55 verse 22. Psalms 55 verse 22. Oh, that's, 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 I mean, some of this, when, 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 when you, you know, it's, it, 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 it amazes me when, when, when you see a child of God to go church. Uh, the praise and worship is leading us through songs of praise and songs of worship. And no go up to unangalilia wase ume pocket. It is my prayer that from today that will change. When, when, when you understand who you are dealing with. And remember, not in the kind of the scary way that we have. When you understand that you're dealing with the very source of your life. Amen. Cast all your cares on the Lord. And he will do what? And he will sustain you. He will never let the rushes fall. The Bible says that we are the rushesness of God through Christ. And the Bible also says that he loves the rushesness. And then he says, cast all your cares to, cast all your cares to me, my children, and I will sustain you. He is our sustainer. This is what I have learned of my father, especially since my biological father left. 
to go and stay with him in heaven. I have learned that he is actually my sustainer. He is actually my sustainer even when my dad was here. And that's why I've told you that I, I want you to learn this now. You don't have to wait for whoever is your father to live so that you understand. I want you to understand this now. That he is the one who sustains you. What are you going to be? Siu janja yako. Siu janja yako ku sustain. Ni God. If it were not for him, I have told you the Bible says that the enemy will have swallowed you alive. Yani hata ange kumada kwanza. Venye tu huko tu. Gone. Venye unaona anga tu nini tu kiswalo. Chameleon nikienda kuswalo ka insect. Ka insect tu kwa shughuli tu kana bambika huko tu and then suddenly kana jipata tu kwa stomach ya chameleon. Yani kana disappear tu. Kana disappear tu. That is how the enemy will have done. for our father he is the one who sustains us he is the one who sustains us in all sense he is the one who sustains us ah you can read this verses later psalm 73:26 psalm 73:26 my flesh and my heart may fail but god <laughs> god is the strength of my heart and my portion forever in may in april when i lost my dad my flesh and my heart failed like una jua ile unasikia i remember best yako aliniuliza a very close friend of mine that i can tell unajua kuna wale wale naweza mwambie anything and he's afraid unasikia aje yani hata ujua utamwambia unasikia aje when when everything you feel that has failed you but god is the strength of my heart he sustained me he sustains me even up to this moment he is the one who sustains me because he is my strength the strength of my heart and my portion forever now that is the difference between our god and our earthly fathers must my father my own father miss now molo lo moindi sustained me for a while he sustained me for a while he did not sustain me forever he wasn't my portion forever but i have a father <laughs> i have a father who even i before i was formed in my mother's womb yeah planned my life and knew that on the 20 today is the 24th 25th that I'll be standing here sharing about him. He knew, he planned everything. He knew that we'll be seated there. He he knew he intricately planned and knew that and he is your portion forever. That is the difference between him and any other father that you are ever gonna confess to be a father. That he is a, a, your portion forever. Amen. Later on you can read philippians 4:19 now the next uh, another quality that i have learned of my father is that he is my defender he is my what i have told you this the story that changed my life who go home is and especially as a first son i am a first son when 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 my dad went to heaven now there are things kuna mambo sasa nili nili kuna mambo tu inakuja tu immediate like uh, last month nilikuwa kwa lawyer mwingine huko Hallingham because kuna jamaa fulani huko anataka kuja alikuwa anajaribu kuchukua shamba ya baba yangu eh, last week but one nilikuwa kwa chief kwa sababu kuna jamaa inapeleka tu ngombe tu kwa shamba ya hiyo babangu unajua hizo ni vitu yeye alikuwa na deal nazo And then now but now what what I did what I have done is that I have said that now my father you know one one of those guys who you are by alikuwa na anasumbua babangu sana na mashamba 
I, I met him. I met him about two weeks ago. And I told him, I told him, and then after he finished, I told him, you know, I don't know your name. Because I think it was the son. Eh? I told him, right now, you're not dealing with Mr. Mololo. And you're not dealing with me. I told him that. I told him, the guy that you're dealing with, eh? if you knew, sasa ya nadhani ni askari. Ata niambia, Aniambia, eh, na kikamba sasa, si mchuku hizi, ngombe mpeleke pali, sijumu nataka, ni kama ambia, wacha kwa ambia, hizi ngombe, kutoa, utatoa hapa, kwa sababu ni mekuja. Lakini the guy that you're dealing with, is not Mololo, and is not even me. But I want to assure you, he is my defender. Na akianza kunitetea, because yendi ubaba yangu sasa, akianza kunitetea, hizi ngombe utazileta hapa tena. And then nikaishia home. Nilikuwa na bro. He, kwa na jamaa imetoa ngombe ikaenda. Then on this Saturday, he week imepita nilikuwa home. So I went, no on Tuesday, when there was the holiday. He, nikenda nikauliza ankoli yangu. How ma jamaa wameleta ngombe hapa tena? Haka niambi apana. Do you know what happened? Um, Hiyo kesi ilikuisha amuliwa kitambo. But they will just float. Unajua yani wamepewa order na koti. Musipeleke ngombe wapi kwa shamba ya fulani fulani. Lakini wanapeleka tu. So, there was a change in the guard. Ya huko mapolisi. So, the, the OCPD ule akapuja a new one. So, akasikia hiyo habari that how my jamaa bado anafanya nini wanapeleka ngombe mimi i did not we did not have an idea he called alipiga simu akapigia yule askari wa hiyo hiyo place tunaishi akamuuliza nasikia kuna ngombe zinapelekwa kwa shamba ya fulani na kuna court order kwa nini sasa huyo askari Kumbe na yeye ndiyo alikuwa, he used to collude na hao watu. So huyo askari na yeye akapigia hao watu simu, akawauliza. Mbona muna peleka ngombe kwa shamba ya fulani? Ebu, toe nizo ngombe hapa wakatoa anyway. Huyo askari, I think, ended up being transferred to Akomoyale or something. But, you know, I did not need to do anything. Because I have a defender. And my God will meet. No, no, no. There's uh, Psalms 18:2. He niapu sustain that he'll meet all needs according to his glorious riches. Psalms 8. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, my deliverer. My God is my rock. Yani buski ya marangapi tu meripitiwa apo. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. I told that guy, Mimi, I won't fight with you. Mr. Mololo, his body is in the grave. Yeah, for heaven, say, I praise. Yeah, deal now, say. But my God, my defender, he will fight for me. He is my deliverer. He is my shield and my home, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. You know, a fortress. Siju kama mshe yenda kwa mshe yona movies za kitambo, especially za war. They used to construct cities and build a fortress, a wall around it. Yani, ata kabla uwanze kupigana na askari, already uko na shida ya ukuta. Yani, it's something that you cannot go through. They used to say, those walls will be so big, they will ride horses on them. The Lord is my fortress. Isaiah 31 verse 5. Isaiah 31 verse 5. Like birds hovering overhead, the Lord Almighty will shield Jerusalem. Ha, he will shield it and deliver it. He will pass it. He will, he will pass over it and will rescue it. 
The Bible says in Isaiah, I think, 54, that the Lord contends on my behalf. And Psalms 35, that He contends on my behalf and He hands me the victory. He is my defender. And you do not need to do anything. Because let me ask you something, guys. Let's be real. Leo. Joju, wakona kijana naitua Shazak. Jamaa kakuja hapa tu anze kuchapa Shazak mabare tu. Pa, pa. Hata utaki kusema. And Shazak doesn't need to say anything. My God. Shazak doesn't need to say anything for his father to defend him. An earthly father. An earthly father doesn't need to be told anything by the son to defend the son. How much more our heavenly father? Kwa nini tunaonanga ni kama mungu wetu? Kwa nini tunaonanga kama mungu wetu ni kama hana shuguli na sisi? Kwa nini tunaonanga kwa nini? Kwa nini tunaonanga baba yetu? Baba yetu hana shuguli na sisi. He defends you. He defends you. But most of the time, imagine, Mimi, sasa, ni kuja hapa. Sifa kwa hapa, anachapwa sijui na nani. Alafu mi nataka kwenda kumdefend. Alafu sifa anza kuniambia, ah, we tulia. Ndaji sot. You know, our father, he's very, yeah, na, he's not forceful. That's why you are not forced to get saved. He, he wants you to willingly accept. That is what we do. We want to defend ourselves. But he still loves us so much. Eventually you realize, eventually you realize that he was fighting for you. Because of grace, undeserved, unmerited favor, he just fights for you. He defends you and he doesn't need you to tell him to defend you. But you need to understand that he's your father. You have to, you need to understand that this is my father. God, you see all this, in fact, this is what I said. Tukitokapo, when I was walking away after talking to that man, I said, Father, you have said that you are the father to the fatherless. I am fatherless. You are my father. Fight for us. And I left. Me and my brother, we walked. We walked and we went. We walked and we went. Three weeks later, he defends us. But we also think, sometimes we also deceived that he should defend you over only certain matters. Which matter over my son, Sifa? Ninini ambacho staki kukua involved in, in my son. Up to the point that my dad went to heaven, he was involved in my everything and I am married with kids. Lakini akisikia kijana amenda shule, ah sifa amenda shule. Even at that point he wants to be and that is an earthly father who wants to be involved in everything. What about that perfect father? The source of your being. Yaani ulianza kwake. But we want to involve him in only the things that we consider to be the greatest, the thing that we consider to be the most difficult. Again, as I just thought, he's your defender and your sustainer and your protector and the provider of every good and perfect gift and he doesn't change. Page three and the last page. The greatest quality that I have learned about fathers is that um, fathers are givers. They are givers. And it begins, it begins with that. When we read the definition of a father this morning, is that he's, a, he's, he's someone who infuses. So whatever the father is infusing is coming from him. So he gives. He gives. Luke eleven thirteen. Luke eleven thirteen. Luke 
if you then for you are evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your father in heaven give the holy spirit to those who ask him how much more he is a giver john 316 16. Hiyo ni verse tulianza kufunzwa tukiwa huko. The very first verse that you are taught. For God so loved the world that he did what? He gave that he gave his only one and only son. Romans 18 Romans 8:32. Romans 8:32 He who just listen to this He who did not spare his own son He who did not spare his own son but gave him up for us all how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things Let me ask you something <laughs> Nani hapa mzazi unaweza peana mtoto wako Atuseme eh ni tukweni tu huyo tu <laughs> And we are zizi ni binadamu Him he had one son and he gave him for us all ni nini anaweza kama kama anaweza kupatia i mean if if i can give you my child what is it that i can hold withhold from you what is it that i can withhold from you kuna kitu naweza kunyima if i can give you my own child another quality of my daddy is that he gives us identity John 1:12 John 1:12 yet to all who received him to those who believed in him in his name he gave the right to become children of god so venye niko leo Donnelly I began by saying if you see Sifa here today and ask him Buddha unaitwa nani utasikia amekuambia although hata isema vizuri utasikia amekuambia naitwa Sifa Muuo Muindi Yo Muindi ni mimi kama uko unajua ni mimi I have given him an identity. My name is Fred Mwindi Mololo. Huyo Mololo is the guy that I've been talking about who is in heaven. He gave me an identity. It is what appears on my identity card. The Father in heaven <laughs> gives us an identity. In fact there was someone who was saying to the extent when you're introducing yourself you start by his name i am and then you say world i am rose he gives you an identity but do we do we do we do we do we walk knowing that we are the children of god if jomo kenyata the son of huru walked in here today you will know because he is aware of his identity and he is not the president the father has given him an identity i hope that we understand our identity today amen ah our god is mighty our father our daddy father is mighty exodus 3 19 to 20 Exodus 3:19 to 
<laughs> so uh, God approaches Moses and Amambia Musa kwanza alimshtua na a burning bush that was not burning na kwambia introduction nayo oh imagine tu unachunga unajua mimi when i was small eh? okay when i was young small yeah was probably I'm not that big in the moment yeah when tukua huko kampani tukichunga ngombe na imagine at least kumoja unachunga ngombe alafu uone ndio hii bush ina ban manze na hiyo meki eh so sasa Mungu akaji introduce kwa Musa na akamwambia nataka uishie wapi huko wende uka and then of course Moses you know gave at you stamara nini nini but now it's long story short God anamwambia huyu jamaa huko huyu jamaa unaenda ku deal nao huyu jamaa unaenda ku deal nao najua ni kichwa ngumu in fact is in god new akamwambia huyo but you don't wash this is what he said <laughs> but i know that the king of egypt will not let you go unless a, unless a, unless a mighty hand compels him <laughs> i went to verse 21 eh? so i will stretch out my hand the hand which is what mighty and strike the egyptians with all wonders yani mtashangazwa unajua wanda literally yani mungu alisema ni ama jamaa nitawachapa na vitu watashanga with all wonders that i will perform among them and then after that they will let you go na juu jamaa unaenda ku deal na yeye atakuacha muende lakini usijali he just needs a mighty hand and then it am shangaza tu it am chapa na vitu atashanga and then he will let you go our father has a mighty hand there are things in your life that seem to be that king of egypt awendi awendi addictions things that you cannot yani things that seem a waste jito you know what you need you need the mighty hand of your father he has a mighty hand i want us to finish with one last it's not the last <laughs> but one quality of our father that to us seems obvious niliwaambia kitu mingi to us seem obvious like our god being the father not just god but father our father is faithful the god that in january promised me fred this is going to be your greatest year yet this is the year that you will love the lord with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind with all your spirit and with everything that you have the god that promised you ev- promised me everything in january even in the darkest of moments that god that god my father abba father daddy is faithful <sighs> faithful you know what the word faithful means <laughs> it is the fact or quality of being true to one's word or quality of being of being true to one's word or commitments as to what what as to what one has pledged to do professes to believe or professes to believe the fact or quality of being true to one's word or commitments as to what one's has pledged to do Psalms 94 91 verse 4 that is where that is the first chapter that I read immediately when I made the prayer that father I want you to I want to understand you differently. Psalm 
I want to understand you differently. Psalms 91. He will cover you with his feathers. Let's start from uh, verse 1. He who dwells in the shelter of the most high will rest in the shadow of the almighty I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress my God in whom I trust Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence He will cover you with his feathers This is the verse. You know, I I I had been speaking these words to my life every nikiam nikiomba I I take these words and I speak them to the to my life. And then this this particular verse I had never seen it this way. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Siko ni shayo na iva sivi. Yani Fred even in the darkest of moments even in Miriam charity Sami Rose even in the darkest of moment Tabi Eh? God's quality and ability to keep his word God's ability and quality and fact that he is not a man that he can lie his ability to keep his word is your shield that to me has it was it was an eye open yani the fact that mungu awezi danganyana eh he's my shield and you know what a shield is a shield is something that is used to protect a shield is something that is used to protect from danger or an unpleasant expense experience it is something ni kitu ya kukulinda ngao ngao mnajua ngao nilikuwa nimepea koki tweak cha ya 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 shield sio kama uko nayo imagine the ability of your father to keep his word is your shield as in the fact that mungu amesema that by your by my stripes you are healed then, then what it means is this that i can't be sick because you see his ability to remain true to his word is my shield his faithfulness that that is a shield hiyo kitu ilikuwa inashikwa mostly especially for wale wale majamaa wa kupigana wale yes our warriors hao na kama wale mostly to be held with your left hand kama unapigana na mkono ya right because it is protecting you now <laughs> God's ability or quality of being truthful your fathers baba yako yani quality ya baba yako ya kwamba haizi danganyana is your shield hiyo ndio inakulinda the fact that he can't lie you see this word this is his word this is true the word of god is true this is your shield the fact that he can't lie to you his quality of being 
faithful is your shield.